This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, uh, we'll see how this goes. This will be our uh, pocket of Eon for the week. The Gemara proved that Rav Shimon is of the opinion that Maimer is kind of Kenyan Gemara. Because in the case of a Yavama that falls to two nine-year-olds, if the first nine-year-old does Bia, the second nine-year-old's Bia doesn't do anything and doesn't Aser her to the first Yavam. Because if the first Bia was good, the second Bia, there's no room for it. It already accomplished whatever it needed to accomplish. And the second Bia is not going to Aser her to the first Yavam. Rashi has the following question. Rashi asks, it should Aser her to the Yavam, not because she's now somewhat married to two Yavamin, but because she's a Saita, she's married to the first one, she was then Mazana with the second one. That's Rashi's Kasha. And Rashi says a very interesting idea that no, she's not also to the first husband. The reason is because uh, the din of Saita is only in a scenario where there's Kinai Ustira, where she's warned and she is um, where she's warned and she is. Uh, went into seclusion. But in this case, there's no information given that she was warned and she went into seclusion. So the din of soita does not apply. So please take a look at Toysus. Second Toysus on the page. Toysus says, it's a Mishnah later on in Ha'isha Rabbah, Da'af Tzadik Vavam and Beis. And the Tanakama says, the second Bia apostles to the first one. So Taisa says, in time of the Reb Shimon, now we take the because it's Zinsa. So Rashi says, there's no Kino Estira. And the Reese says, this is a Tal Seifer. Rashi would never, Rashi never said a word about this. You know why? If there's only one witness, of course she's only ushered her husband if she was warned and went to seclusion. If you have two witnesses seeing that she was Mazana, so she's Nasaris Beloi Kinoi. So Toysus therefore says, Rashi never wrote this, some printer made up a, uh, a bad teretz and stuck it into Rashi. But Rashi would never say that you need warning to answer a woman to her husband. That's only if there's one witness. Here, we're talking about a case where we know she, she lived with the second katan. So Toysus says, the case must be where she lived with the katan, either b'shoigeg or he raped her. And under those circumstances, she's not usher to the husband, the first husband, Midin Saita. So Taisa says we have to be talking about a very limited case where the Dine Saita do not apply. Now, the Ramban writes an amazing thing on Rashi. He says, Ze min advarm hamatmiyin shebepirushav. This is one of the most questionable things Rashi ever said. Al yidei kino yistira in al yidei edim loy. That she's only usher if she's warned and not through witnesses? Everybody knows you're usher to your husband with two witnesses or kino yistira. So the Ramban uh, says this is one of the strangest things Rashi ever said. Then he quotes the Rav of Bezdin. Who the Rav Av Bezdin is, I have no idea. First, I thought maybe it was the Ravid, but I don't think the, I don't think so. I think it's a Rishon called the Rav Av Bezdin, who wants to say that in Masechta Kedushin we darshan Aishas Ish that excludes the wife of a katan. In other words, let's say a katan marries a woman and then someone is mazana with her. There's no chiv mitzah because they're not really married. So the same way, there's no din eshes ish by eshes katan. Maybe there's no din of soita by eshes katan. That's what the Rav Av Bezdin seems to be saying, and the Ramban disagrees. Says that according to Rav who says later on, you're kind of for everything. Even the Bia of 
is Nami is a Kenyan Gummer. So a Katan also, it should be a full fledged Yibam regarding everything. But that seems to be the question. Toysus' Kasha on Rashi is how could Rashi say your only Asr, Bikino Yustira? Of course, you're usher to your husband if there are witnesses. So there's this Torah of Rabaran Cutler in the Mishnah Srabaran. And he quotes a base Halevi who says as follows There are some times, there are some women who, if they're Mazana, they're not usher to their husband. For example, a Shaymeras Yavam. Let's say a woman awaiting Yibam. Let's say she's Mazana as she's awaiting Yibam. Is she Asr to the Yavam? No, she's not Asr to the Yavam. Be Kawai, she's not Asr to the Yavam. She's not married to the Yavam. However, the Rambam seems to say that there are cases where Shaymeras Yavam, that's Mazana, could be Asr to her husband. To the to the Yavam. so the Beis Halevi answers this question. The after zinsa muteres mikamaka bekinus er neseres the bekpeda the bal tali rachmana v'ha kapet. Beis Halevi says the following chiddush. It's not the act of arayos that Asr is a soita to her husband. It's the fact that she's violating a certain agreement. And it's dis- and it's and the Baal is makbid, and there's an element of soita that when the Baal is makbid, then she's aser. If the Baal is not makbid, she's not aser. It's bikpeda talia rachmana. That's the chiddush of the Beis Halevi, that a shoymeres yavam who's mezane could be aser to the yavam because the yavam is makbid, even though there's no real iser soita. So Aaron Cutler wants to say the same idea to answer Toysus' kasha on Rashi. Toysus' kasha was that I don't, I don't understand. Uh, Rashi says that a katan who is mezane will not cause her to be usher to the first uh, katan because there's no kino yastira. So the question is, there's no kino yastira, but there's Edom. Edom is better than kino yastira. We know she was Mazana. So basically, what Rav Aaron Cutler is going to say is that Rashi holds like the Rav Av Bezdin in the Ramban. That the Isser of that a Katan's Znus does not create an Isser to the husband. In other words, if a woman is Mazana with a Katan, she won't be Usser to the husband. So what does Rashi mean? It's only Asr Bikino Yistira, L'chair, even Bikino Yistira, it wouldn't be Asr. Miman of Shach. Is the Katan create an Isr Saita or does it not? So Rashi holds like the Rav Av Bezdin. A Katan's, a, uh, um, if a woman is Mazan with a Katan, it doesn't create an Isr uh, Saita. But Rashi means, if they would have warned her, if the husband says, I don't want you to go into seclusion with that kid, that would create an Isr Saita. Well, what do you mean, Miman of Shach? Is the bee of a katan does it create a sursaita, does it not? So the Rav Aaron is using the Beis Halevi's chidosh that there are times that a, a, a znus would not create an sursaita, but with kino yustira, since the kpedas habal talarachmana, so that would in fact create a sursaita. He says, Vazem yushavim barachava, divrei rashi atmu imaid. This would answer very well. This Shvar Rashi, the Hiksha beben Tesh Shanu Yam Echad Shmai Vimtai, the nine-year-old lives with the Yavama. Viachek Achbal Achiv Shu Ben Tesh Shanu Yam Echad the Tiyas Arishim Mishum Dezinsa. The Tirates Rashi says the Enish is our Bala La Iska Kinu Stira the Tamulav the Beidim Nasaras. Achshitas Rashi a Yavam Katan is Kaidim in Atayra. It's just a Katan is Nesmai Mimisa. And she wouldn't ask her biznos if she's mezana with a katan like a shemer yavam. But through kino yostira, like the Beis Halevi says, she would become asr, not midin soita, mitzad kpeda of the Baal. There's an Indian, the kpeda of the Baal creates an asr. If anybody wants these marimakonimists, I could send it to you. 
Marv um, Rabhoisai, Bez Hashem Shir tomorrow night at 8.30. And want to wish our good friend Rabbi Michael Behar, very big Mazel Tov, is making a chasana tomorrow night. Shri Bishat Taivu Matzlachas. Shri Zoycha to Doiro Sisham Vairachem. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Mazatan, Mazatan. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.